The fifth step that we want to perform is to train the bin. Now the bin is a special object in the environment. It's not part of environment training, but it is trained in a similar way, in a touch to teach uh, fashion. So the bin uh, needs to be fixtured in space. So we're gonna train the bin in a fixed location. Uh, you can of course remove the bin, but when you put it back, it needs to go back into the same location. You can, however, train multiple bins and then change them. Probably the rest of the environment is not changing, uh, but perhaps the bin is. So we treat the bin as a special object within the environment. So let's go ahead and train a new bin. Touch bin and go to the Manage tab. Now we want to create, in this case, a new bin. So we'll select New Bin, and it asks us to start the Bin Creation Wizard. So we'll go ahead and hit Create. Now, we're going to train the bin by touching four points on each wall in a certain order, and we're gonna to touch four points on the floor, and we're gonna to touch the top of the bin in four points. What this does is it creates four planes for the walls, a plane for the floor, and then uh, says, and then a plane for the top. And that's what helps us to define our bin. Our bin walls do not mean, need to be vertical. They can be slanted, um, but we don't support any uh, bins which do not have a flat floor. The bin can also be tilted as well, um, but we want to train, uh, at the end of the day, six planes to create the bin. So let's go ahead and uh, start touching points. It doesn't matter which wall we start on, but we do need to follow the clockwise progression uh, that's, uh, that's shown in the instructions here. So we'll first start by training the front wall. In this case, let's call this wall the front wall. So we'll start there, point one. It takes us to the move page each time, and we'll use free drive mode to physically touch that wall. We don't need to touch uh, the points necessarily in the corners. Remember, we're just training six planes. So in this case, any four points on this surface of the, of the bin uh, are sufficient. So that's point one. Go ahead and touch point two. What I found is a combination of free drive mode and, uh, and uh, UR moves are really helpful. So in this case, we'll just go straight up using uh, TCP position Z plus. And point four, we'll train that point, point there. Point five is any point on the top edge of the bin. We basically wanna create that, that ceiling. So we'll go ahead and train point five. We can either train it like this, or we can train it by touching like this. Either way is fine. Now that we've trained four points on the front wall and the top of that wall, we're gonna hit next. And you'll see that the diagram shows uh, we wanna move clockwise. So the next wall, the left wall, would be this wall here on the far side. So we'll repeat the process now for left wall, uh, back wall, right wall, and then we'll move on to the floor. Now we're going to train the bin floor.
Of all the planes to train accurately, the floor is the one that you want to train the most accurately. And we'll hit done. And we can check our work. So we see the bin that's been created here. We can give a thickness to the wall. So starting at the plane uh, that we've trained for each wall, we can then give the bin a thickness. So I'll go with about 15 millimeters thick here in this case. Then there's a few parameters which are very important uh, that actually affect the 3D sensor and point cloud. So we see a top clipping offset and floor clipping offset. If these are both zero millimeters, that means we're looking uh, inside the bin, that would be the top clipping offset, and the floor clipping offset is how many meters above the floor do we want to look at the point cloud for. The reason is that there's a raw point cloud, there's a clipped point cloud, and then of course there's matched points within that point cloud. What we're interested in is this virtual scan space, defining this virtual scan space inside the bin. If parts are mounted above the surface of the bin, of course we want our virtual scan zone to be above the bin. We also don't want to see the floor of the bin, so we would clip out everything below. So this virtual scan zone is user adjustable and we just want to see the parts that are inside the bin without actually seeing the bin itself. So that's what we use top clipping offset, wall clipping offset, and floor clipping offset to do. We're going to go ahead and just change wall clipping offset and floor clipping offset to do. We're going to go ahead and just change the floor, the top clipping offset to zero in this case. We'll leave floor clipping offset at five millimeters for now. And when we put parts in the bin, we can check and see, uh, see if that's a good value or not. In this case, we'll take the default. Go ahead and hit save property changes. Now, the way we can check our work is like we did before. We can relate the uh, virtual space on the teach pendant, the virtual environment, with uh, the real environment. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's move this next to the wall. And we can look on the teach pendant in the virtual environment to see how close we are to that wall. So I can see that it looks like I'd like to increase my wall thickness a little bit. Wall thickness is creating a clearance shape around the bin. Obviously, I don't want to hit the bin with my robot or my end effector, so I want to set the clearance shape for the bin uh, to an appropriate thickness so that the robot nor the end effector hits the bin. In this case, we'll go 25, and we can see now, yep, definitely not going to hit the bin. So now we've created a nice clearance uh, shape, the appropriate thickness uh, around the bin. So go ahead and hit save. We can then, under the manage tab, uh, name those bins. So as long as they're placed in the same way that they were trained, we can change bins. We could select uh, a different bin by hitting select bin here. And now you can see there's a, a different bin other than the one that we've trained. And of course we can name them uh, something that's appropriate as well. So that's how we do uh, bin training.